Welcome back savages to another video. In today's video we're going to be unboxing and setting up the Geopulse device from Geodnet. So just before we do the unboxing I'm going to explain exactly what a Geopulse device is. So here we are on the Geopulse website. I'll leave a link in the description that you can follow and click on and browse at leisure if you want to. But effectively this is a super accurate car navigation device. As it mentions here in the description this navigation device is 10 times more accurate than regular GPS. So not only is it 10 times more accurate than GPS, it delivers 10 centimeter absolute positioning accuracy. It also mentions about being urban canyon ready, which means you can stay on course in multi-path downtown environment. Can be very handy when it comes to navigating parking garages. Very easy to install and it's quite rugged. And we'll come on to that when we do the unboxing. And it's also developer friendly and they do have an upcoming software development kit coming soon. So these are the technologies built into the actual Geopulse. It has Bluetooth built in so that's what we'll be communicating with when you connect it to your mobile phone. And we've got the specs of the GNSS receiver right here. As well as Bluetooth you've also got two connections. This connection right here is the one that goes to your USB port to power it. And the second one is used for the repeater. So once you've got the Geopulse powered up you can connect it to an app called the Quest app. It's available for iOS and Android. I'll leave links in the description where you can download these. The Quest app will allow you to onboard the device, set up wallets and do various quests and we'll come on to that shortly. Now please bear in mind the actual Geopulse is not a miner so don't purchase this thinking this is going to be able to mine tokens. And as it mentions on the screen right here you can earn GeoNet tokens from taking part in certain navigation tasks. Also the beauty is if you've got built in mobile phone apps like Google Maps they can integrate with the Geopulse providing even more superior accuracy compared to the regular in phone and in dash GPS. Now when it comes to the quest as well as earning Geodnet tokens for hex mapping for example you can also earn IOTEX tokens as well. And as well as this they're also going to be having some future quests coming to the app as well. So as mentioned just above consumer applications. So if you've got a standard mobile phone for example with Google Maps it can replace the GPS that is built into the phone by using the Geopulse signals instead. And it does mention there that Android support is available immediately. iOS support is coming in Q1 of 2025. There's also custom apps with SDK integration and it just mentions them there. And also that second port on the Geopulse which is the signal repeater can be used to improve in-car GPS for non-mobile phone devices like a hive mapper. And just at the very bottom there there is a buy button right there which takes you to the hivefix.ai website. I'm not going to cover that right now I'll leave that till the end but what I'm going to do is throughout this video on the top right hand side of the screen I'm going to leave you a 10% discount code that'll get you 10% off the Geopulse if you buy from hivefix.ai or 10% off any other device on the Hivefix store. So stick around and I'll show you that later on in the video. But without further ado, let's crack on with the unboxing. So this is the box that the Geopulse comes in. Fairly standard white box, no other writing on the outside other than Geopulse, which is embossed on the top, which is nice to see. So first thing you're going to see when you open it is a QR code, which will take you to the website. And you can do some additional learning there if you need to. So next up is the Geopulse device itself in all black plastic with the Geopulse logo here on the top. It's quite well balanced, good quality plastic the views there. You've got two mounting holes on this side and that side right there. In terms of dimensions it's three inches this way by two and a half inches that way. In terms of thickness it's about three quarters of an inch and you've got your two connections on there. So that connection right here will go to your USB to power it. And this connection right here is used for the signal repeater. And that's all there is to it. So in the box you've got this long extension cable which goes from the Geopulse right here to standard USB A. So the next thing we've got is the GPS repeater, this one here. So you've got one side of it which has got this connection here and you just take off this plastic part on the Geopulse and this will just screw into that like that 
and then you've got the flat area just here with some adhesive on the bottom where you can stick it to your dashboard. And lastly, they've included a dashboard non-slip mat like this. You can just peel these off and it'll stick to your dashboard. And if you just wanted to temporarily put the geopulse on there, you can do that as well. So that's all there is to the hardware. I'm going to get the geopulse powered up and then we'll connect it to the app. So when you're connecting the USB cable, we're going to be using this port right here. And it'll only go in a certain way, so it's just a case of spinning this around until it goes in. Once you've got it put in there, you just get this nut here and tighten it. So that's good, there's no way that's going to come off once it's connected to it. So the other end we would normally connect to USB, but I'm more interested in knowing just how much power this consumes. So I'm going to connect it to a USB power meter and let's find out. So we're just going to do a quick power consumption test. On the left hand side we've got the Geopulse with its USB-A cable just here. On the right hand side we've got our USB power meter. Let's plug it in. Now when the Geopulse is powered on you do get a status LED which is flashing amber at the moment. So our power consumption on 5 volts is round about 0 0.17 amps. So next up we just need to install the Quest app and you can do that by clicking on either of those links for either Android or iOS. When you click the iOS version it'll take you to an app called Test Flight. So just go ahead and click on Get and get that installed. So now we need to install the software and what I've done is install Test Flight first of all and then we're going to go ahead and install Geopulse just by clicking Install. So once Geopulse is installed click on Open, click on Allow to allow your location. Just do next on the screen right here. So at this point it just uses Bluetooth to connect to the Geopulse and it's found it right there. So we're just going to click on the device. And it asks for a Bluetooth pairing request. So we're just going to do pair. So it's got a tick box right next to it saying it's selected it. Now click on done. So we're back in the Quest app right here. On the device tab you can see things like your serial number, installation date and your location. It'll tell you whether Bluetooth or GeoNet are connected like we've got there. Then if you click along to the Sky tab, this will take a few seconds and get you the fix of all the satellites. So you kind of get a radar GPS map at the top and then the various satellites here on the bottom and how many satellites have picked up. So next we're going to skip the Quest tab and we're going to go straight to the account settings. In the account settings what you need to do is set a couple of things and what we do is click on that cog just on the top right hand corner. Click on your account at the top. So on this profile you need to set the username if it hasn't already been set and also a wallet address. Now that wallet address is going to be your geode wallet address for where the rewards from this app can be sent. So the address needs to be on a Solana wallet such as Phantom. So go ahead and enter that in there and click on save. The other thing you need to do is to update email or bind email if it says that. In this bind email part you need to enter the email address and do click send verification code. Do that and it just adds a bit more security to the app. So once you've completed those settings go back to the main page and click on the quest tab. So on this tab you'll get your first quest where you can earn up to 200 GeoNet rewards. And all you really need to do is get eight fixes and different hexes just from driving. I've done most of them as you can see, so I'll be getting my rewards which will be sent out to the wallet address we put in earlier. Now there is a daily task you can do where you can earn two IOTEX tokens for the first five successful proofs each day. And to do that you need to register an IOTEX wallet address. So if you've got one you can just enable that button right there and enter an IOTEX wallet address such as MetaMask. These balances can then be withdrawn by clicking on the account tab to the right of it and then clicking on the withdraw button just at the top where you can then withdraw it to your wallet. One last thing I was going to mention was this GPS relay right here. So when you've got this connected to the Geopulse essentially it's sending the GPS signal to any other devices in your vehicle to get a GPS a lot quicker. And other devices include something like this Hive Mapper. Hive Mapper is a crypto device that maps roads and you get rewarded. Well essentially these have their own built-in hardware and a GPS receiver. And in my experience this can take up to about 10 minutes to get a fix at some point. 
but with the GeoPulse now fitted, it's getting a fix within about 30 seconds, which is excellent. So if you have any other devices in your car, including the Hive Mappers and any other device which relies on GPS, you're going to find that the GeoPulse is getting you a GPS fix a lot quicker. So if you want to go ahead and buy this device, I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy it, and it's at the HiveFix.ai website. So when you go to the HiveFix AI website and you get to the GeoPulse page, go ahead and click on Add to Cart. Now currently it's priced at $149. Scroll down and go to Checkout and you'll find there is a discount code section just here. In there, enter the code SAVAGE and click on Apply and you'll get 10% off. And the same applies for any other item on the HiFix website. So for example, if you wanted one of these WingBits devices or a combined GeoNet and WingBits compatible device, just click on the link, click on Add to Cart. And if you go to checkout, you'll notice you also get a 10% discount on any other items as well. So that's a massive saving. So there you go, Savages. That is the unboxing and setup of the GeoPulse device. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Like I said, I'll leave a link for where you can buy this item from the highfix.ai website, including the discount code. Otherwise, please like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.